Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Every form you enter information into has its own layout of fields, images, and labels used for data entry and printed display. In QuickBooks, you can customize the layout of a form to better suit your company's needs. For example, there are three preset formats for invoices, professional, service, and product. If these templates don't precisely fulfill your needs, you can customize them as needed. You can also customize more than invoices in QuickBooks. The forms you can customize in QuickBooks are invoices, sales receipts, credit memos, statements, purchase orders, and estimates. Note that estimates are only available in QuickBooks Desktop Pro or higher. For each form, you can choose which fields and columns to include, where they are placed in the form, and what they are called. After you have finished customizing the form, you can save the new layout as a custom template to use at your convenience. In QuickBooks, the basic customization and additional customization windows are used to apply general customization settings to forms. In these windows, you decide what fields to add to the form for both on-screen display and the printed version. After performing basic customization, you can use the Layout Designer to arrange the selected fields, add additional formatting options, and add text boxes and images to the printed version of the form. You begin the process by selecting Lists, Templates from the menu bar. Doing this then opens the Templates list. In the Templates list, click the Templates button in the lower left corner to show a menu of choices. To make a new template, select the New command from the pop-up menu. Doing that will present you with the Select Template Type dialog box where you select the option button that corresponds to the type of form you are trying to create. Then click the OK button to begin customizing your selected form template in the basic customization window that appears. After creating a form template and saving it into the Templates list, which you will learn how to do within the upcoming lessons in this chapter, you can edit the template in the future by selecting it within the Templates list clicking the Templates button in the lower left corner of the window, and then selecting the Edit Template command from the pop-up menu to reopen the Basic Customization window. To delete a custom template from the Templates list, select the template to delete within the Templates list, click the Templates button in the lower left corner of the list window, and then select the Delete Template command from the pop-up menu. You will need to click the OK button within the Delete Template Confirmation dialog box that appears to delete the selected template. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.